So we've had a lot of people ask us, so how do you make this stuff that tastes so good? So the, the short answer is it's oil and sugar and popcorn. And when it pops, put a little salt on it. That's the trick, that's the trick. As our kids were growing up, we always worked with Pathfinders and helped them uh, with camperies and skills and the things that you do with kids at that age. And um, after I retired from Adventist Health, uh, we were looking for ways to help give back to some of the kids that, uh, that we work with now. And my brother was cooking kettle corn in Florida to help kids raise money down there. I said, why not? We went down and learned how to do it and uh, caught the bug, came back, found some equipment here and uh, we begin doing that ministry to help kids raise funds here in the Northwest. It is all about the kids. Um, we've had opportunity to help with fundraisers for Rivergate, for Auburn Adventist Academy, PAA, as well as multiple Pathfinder clubs in Florida, in Washington, and in Oregon. Well, How do you make it at home? A ton and a half of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we just take oil, um, heat that up until it's ready to put the corn in. That's a uh, trade secret that we use. And we uh, add the corn. When the corn is just at the right temperature, we add sugar. And then the magic happens. We have a wooden paddle that we stir it with. And in that stir is what makes that corn cook the way it should. And then you have to make sure that at the time that it's ready, you get it out of the kettle very quickly so it doesn't burn. Uh, we then get it into the sorting table. We sort all the old maids out and we add salt there, measured amounts of salt to make it just the perfect mix of sweet and salty. And then you'll have to try it. Mm -hmm. 